so in today's video i am going to show you how we can create war file in your spring boot project as well as we will understand the difference between war file and jar file okay so let's start this video okay so first we will uh, discuss that how you can create war file in your spring boot project okay so first come to your id and uh, open your project okay so i am opening my project just like a register login session spring boot okay so first thing you have to do you have to come to your pound xml open it i am opening at xml editor and here first thing we have to perform that we have to change our packaging okay so uh, after the description we have to write here in less than packet packaging and in this uh, section we have to write war okay so it will take some time to processing okay so write here war okay and uh, for generate this war file you have to add one more dependency here so for for that you have to write here dependency in dependency you have to write group id in this group id we have to write org dot spring boot spring framework sorry frame work dot boot and uh, artifact id artifact fact id uh, is equal to spring dash boot dash starter dash tomcat okay and uh, scope in this scope we have to write provided okay so you have to add the dependency here then you have to come to your uh, project and here you can see there there is a default package com uh, name as a com xml or demo and in this package uh, we have to open our main class and in this main class we have to write one more override method so okay so i already copy this override method from this website which is a java t uh, java point here you can see this is a method so i simply copy this method from here you can refer to this website for generating this war file and simply paste here okay so before doing that before pasting this file we have to extend our main our main class extend our main class uh, with spring servlet initializer okay here you can see spring boot servlet initializer okay so basically it provides us to facility to generate war file okay so then we will uh, paste our override method and here we have to import some packages which is i am importing spring boot application builder here you can see and in this dot class before the dot class we have to write our class name okay so my class name is a register login session okay so register login session here you can see our class name is come here okay so all 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 process are done let's check one more time okay then you have to right click on project and then run as maven build and here you have to select skip test and goals is equal uh, in in this goal we have to write uh, clean uh, install okay then apply and click on run okay so here you can see our process is started right now okay it will take some time okay here you can see what and 
here here you can also see there is a war building process right now and here you can see we will uh, they will show our, us message that is build success okay so let's check our wire file is uh, created generated or not okay so for that we have to uh, right click on project and then we have to refresh our project okay one more time and then we have to come target here you can see this target folder uh, click on there and here you can see just one minute here you can see our war file is generated okay so if you want to uh, generate your war file according to your name so for that you can also do that okay so i am just deleting this target folder right now okay and here i am uh, in the pound of xml uh, after it is built we have to uh, write file name okay and in this file name i am just writing here web application wait web okay web application war file okay then uh, as it is right click on project and uh, run as maven build and uh, here you can see our process started again okay so let's check it is working or not it will take some oh, okay here you can see build success okay so again refresh this project and uh, check our target here you can see web application war so our war file is successfully uh, generated right now so then we discuss about what is the war file what is the jar file and what is the main difference between these two files okay so first we understand jar file okay so jar file uh, it is known as a java archive file so in this file it is a package file which used to combine java classes file and associated metadata and resources into one file so it is like a container of file which is have java classes there is a multiple java classes files and associated metadata which means uh, just like images audio uh, different kind of uh, resources just like that okay and then uh, again in the in a simple words java file is a file that contains compressed version of dot class files audio files and images here you can see dot class file means our java uh, java files as we know after compilation our java file converted into dot classes file so it is our java files and audio files and images file which means our meta and resources the data okay so this all store into one file and that one file call as a java jar file okay so let's understand what is the war file so war file uh, known as a web application arch archive so uh, or you hey, or uh, you can uh, called as a web, web application resource okay so basically war file is a snapshot of spring boot project so stop snapshot of spring, uh, spring boot project means it is a copy of our spring boot project means all of the data in our spring boot project for example a jsv file all dependency all uh, html css javascript file are combined into one single file and that single file contains this all data that call as a war file so let's understand this is a container which holds all your jsv files server xml files html css javascript files and combine this all into single file that call as war file with the help of war file we can easily deploy our project on any local server or send our project to anyone anyone okay so with the help of war file we can uh, deploy our project on any type of local server just like tomcat okay there is a some kind of other local uh, server also there you can directly deploy our uh, war file okay and uh, with the help of war file you can directly send your war file to any of your uh, for example your customer or client or any kind of uh, uh, faculty you can send it directly and uh, they, uh, they can easily run this war file 
on any type of server and they can see what kind of uh, work you uh, did in this uh, project okay so this is easy or work and uh, it will save our lots of time and uh, it makes our deployment easy so this is all about today's video in this video we generated our war file and uh, understand the difference between uh, jar file and our file if you don't watch our previous video which is spring boot register login session and uh, upload file here you can see this is the two videos you can definitely watch it and you will learn so many things from that okay so thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video you can subscribe to our channel and uh, you can like this video okay so thank you so much for watching this we will see in next video